Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It's Rich DeBerry with La Foon Dash here in K9, which stands for The Foundation. Hey, man, I'm going to tell you, a um, little quick Kennel Talk 101. This won't be a long rant or nothing, but we ain't done a Kennel Talk in a while, but we're going to talk about it. Um, genetics. What does genetics mean? Um, what does understanding the pedigrees and all mean, man? And, and it's something that really frustrates me, but it's none of my business what other programs do, but a lot of people get into breeding dogs and don't understand genetics and pedigrees. Like, in order to be the best, to, to increase, to help enhance the breed, you need to understand genetics some. You can't look at a dog and look at another dog and say, hey, these two dogs look together, let's breed them, and we'll have all championship pedigree dogs. Like if I got a championship pedigree dog, or a champion dog, let's just say a champion dog, and my buddy has a champion dog, just because I breed them two together, don't mean I'm gonna have all champion puppies. Because I don't know their background and history, their genetics, and what's in the pedigree. So guys, um, I'm excited. This is something that um, I've been on a journey for since I've been coming to the Canary Islands, and I actually got finally got my hands on it. But this is um, a book of all the Monte Graphica winners from 1990 to 2022. And, and here's something else, like, it's so many um, breeders that don't even know what the mon uh, Preston Canario breeders that don't know what a monographica is. Oh, what is the monographica, more sure should I say. But guys, I, I try to make these videos to, um, again, to help educate um, and, and show people things that will help the breed, not hurt it. And I, I wouldn't do this if I, if I was thinking it would do something to hurt the breed, but if I can give you some points and tips, if you plan on breeding the dogs, if you like the dogs, if you have a pet, you like pedigrees, you like genetics, like this is a, something like that's a must have for me. And I remember when I got into um, wanting a Presser Canario and wanting to breed a dog. I didn't even plan on breeding the dogs, to be honest with you. I love the breed. I went to go buy a, a dog from someone here in the States. Nobody was doing the health testing that I wanted done on the dogs because my previous dog had hip dysplasia and it broke my heart and, and that whole process happened. So I wanted to make sure I minimized my risk um, and get a dog that was health tested. On top of, I traveled all over the world um, already. So. Um, when I didn't find what I wanted in America, I found it in the Canary Islands, and that started this whole journey. I'm like, well, if nobody's doing it, I'm going to start doing it. And I push, and I talk about hips and elbow testing, pin hip testing, um, um, OFA, OFA, checking your hips, dog's hips and elbows. These are the primary tests that I, that I like to do before breeding a dog, before a dog actually qualifies to my program. But, but... Before that, guys, like I literally, you know, the whole pack of Xerox paper, the, the, the white paper that you that you buy to um, print stuff on. I literally um, went on a database and almost printed the entire pack of paper looking at pedigrees and, 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 and tying the dots to certain dogs that I like, the look of the dogs. And then I would go look at that, that the great granddad, then look at the puppy that that dog produced. Like, so if you're not understanding pedigrees, if you don't have the data that at your fingertips to be able to know for sure where the dog comes from, how the puppies produced that the dogs had, or had, the grandparents had, like how are you gonna um, like make the best crossings that you can possibly do without knowing the pedigree of genetics? I, I, I mean. You can keep shooting in the dark and will you eventually get lucky? Yeah, you eventually get lucky, but is that what you want to do? No. So I, I hear guys talking about um, pedigrees and genetics. Some guys are deep into it and I enjoy that and I like that about their programs. And some guys like don't have any clue. And that's something that I see that lacks, um, and this is no shot at anybody, it, it, that, that lacks in this breed in America. Like, a lot of guys don't know of, of famous, well-bred Preston Canarios here in the Canary Islands. They know of dogs in America, and, and they say dogs that I have no clue who the dogs are. And I come here all the time and I bring the dogs up to the Canary. They, they don't even know who the dogs are and the pedigrees that, that happens to be 
some top dogs or people in, that we here in America think are great Preston Canarios. Like, they don't even know what the dog is. So, guys, whether it's Preston Canarios, whether it's bullies, whether it's Rottweilers, whether it's Malinois, whether it's German Shepherds, and that's something you'll see a lot with German Shepherds um, and Malinois breeders, they know the pedigrees. Like, if you go look at those breeders, they study the pedigrees, they study genetics. Like, they study it. Like, it's a must do, a must have, it ain't no question. Like, true professional breeders of those those breeds, they know them pedigrees. And then when you start looking at, um, um, like, dogs that you see, and like, like, really high quality breeders, whether it's Carney Corso, um, the Napoleon Masters. Like when you see people in programs that are excelling and the dogs look good and they look consistent, like they know genetics. Like this ain't rocket science. It just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of sitting down, connecting dots, help testing your dogs. Like they know it. And that's one thing where I, I'm always like confused within the Presa Canario breed, when you start hearing the, 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 the term show dog a working dog. Okay, guys, to have a, and, and working dog, people know this, to have a working dog, a working dog puppies, the parents have to have working dog genetics pedigrees. The great grandparents have to have it. You have to have a, a proven line in the pedigrees and to have the genetics to proclaim your puppies is a working class dog. You can't just say because it looks smaller and moves faster and do this that it's a working breed. It's, it's, oh, these are working presses. Why? Where's the titles at? It's none. And then I had somebody hit me up. Um, and, and, and when you ask these working presser people about showing you titles, the working titles to their dog, they can't. They can't. They don't have it. It doesn't exist. You maybe have, I think I've seen um, three or four people um, in America that um, actually have earned some titles, um, a title two or three, and they actually have a dog that has some working titles. And salute. I respect it. I ain't no hate is all love. Like, I respect it because actually the dog has the capabilities of doing it. If you understand genetics, pedigrees, properly train a dog, and, 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 and have the, 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 the right steps to take to get the dog there. So, guys, man, like, the main point I want you to understand is this. If you don't know what you have, if you don't know the genetics, you don't know the pedigrees, like, don't do it. Like, do a little bit of research, take a little bit of time, and again... I can't tell you what to do. It's your program. It's your business. It's not mine. I'm just telling you what I do, like I always do. I share what I do with my program with you guys. Um, this is what helps me. This is what the, the, the path that I take, and I'm telling you why I take it. Because I want to minimize my exposure and minimize my risk. And look, this ain't to say that I won't produce a puppy that may not suit the bill or it may not look the way it could be a little bit shorter or something, have some type of defect. But I'm going to minimize it. I'm going to minimize it. And that's what you want to do. I want to minimize my risk and exposure to doing anything negative to the breed. And I want to increase the opportunity and the chances of me enhancing and preserving the breed. That's what I'm here for. Like, that's why I like this. That's why I'm so, I'm so obsessed with it. That's why I printed so many different pages of pedigrees and study genetics. Like, this is what I enjoy. Like, uh, and I've never been a student. I'm a student of shit that I love. I love fishing. So I can tell you a whole bunch of different stuff about fishing. I love weightlifting. So I can tell you a whole bunch. I'm a student of the stuff I love. And I love this. And this is a true gift. So thank you to my friends that made this happen for me. Guys, I mean, from 1990 to 2022, like, I have all the champions right here. And then it has the pedigrees in it. So I can sit around and just thumb through pedigrees and dog names and understand different dogs that impact the breed. Like, this is what it's about. But, guys, again, I'm going to tell you what I do. I never tell you what to do. But I can tell you this. We do it different. And you already know what time it is. Get you up, Pressa.